Thoughts Captain Marvel film minisode. So, the yeah, basically a, a week ago, I rewatched Captain Marvel. Really great movie. I think I appreciate it more now that I've watched it again. Originally, and I think this was how I felt when I recorded the original video about the movie. I kind of wanted a female villain. You know, the hero is female. Marvel, the mentor, is female. Monica Rambeau, who looks up to her, and Marie, Maria Rambeau, who is in many ways her equal. Did I get the the Rambos backwards? I, I think you know who I'm talking about. It was in many ways her equal before she got superpowers, and her close friend are female. You know, if the villain was female, they could contrast the heroic wound women with one female villain to depict a woman in a way that you know where she is an evil character without you know being a stereotype of an evil woman you know in in you know some female villains would be like heavily sexualized you know where her sexuality is framed in negative lights such as a seductress and you know, when, let's see, yeah, and, and when you have women, let's see, you know, not necessarily as villains, but, you know, they might come off as being in the way, you know, a woman will not stop pestering men, a woman whose personal values and feminine traits are not only not helpful, but actually hinder the heroes, a woman who is unintelligent, you know, you have all these really negative stereotypes. And, and that's the thing, you know, with the heroes, they really went, but, you know, ultimately, the, the, all the female, sorry, all the heroic female characters have the, you know, no, none of them have, like, traits that really make them be in the way, for example. So, it's not like, you know, it, it doesn't really... S Yeah, like, it, it doesn't put in less of a negative light, that kind of thing. Basically, they are, I, I wouldn't say Mary Sue's, but they are, although I can understand the argument for, you know, Carol being a Mary Sue, but, yeah, with the, the let's see, yeah, but, you know, we, we do not have a female villain, but, you know, Yon Rog turns out to be a villain, and there was something really great about the characterization where it is very important that he is a man and Carol is a woman, a woman who throughout the movie has been told she's too emotional, and yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. Right at the very end, right before she zaps him and sends him flying back to Hala, his, the, you know, the, the Kree home planet, he actually says that he is proud of her. In a sick way, he probably does really respect her, similar to how Thanos' love of Gamora is sick. He's toxic. A lot of women work under men who think less of them for the wrong reasons, even if they can show some real respect for other things about them. He thinks that she has to get rid of her emotions, her humanity, in order for her to truly be the best version of herself. And over the course of the film, and especially when she gets her full powers, the film makes absolutely clear her emotions and her humanity are key to her being the best version of herself. Women are told many times they have to suppress their emotions, that, you know, emotions only get in the way, and women are too emotional in general. They should be more stoic. You know, the stereotype, high, stereotype of how men are expected to be. And, yeah, you know, a lot of, a lot of women are held to a standard that says that Women can only be good when they are very much like men, which, I mean, yeah, you know, I get that some, some women do feel like that is enough acknowledgement, but it still means that what makes them women has to be suppressed. And, you know, both Wonder Woman and Captain Marvel are movies that really do a great job of showing why that's exactly wrong. We do need, you know, feminine traits, you know, making a lot of important decisions for us. 
you know, what was that thing Chaplin says at the end of The Great Dictator? We have, you know, we're, we're yeah, I think the line is, men who think too much and feel too little. And that was his analysis of what was wrong during World War II and what led to this whole, yeah. Yeah, so back to my note. While in part her humanity is the fact that she's human rather than Cree, it's also about empathy. And the entire movie, Marvell and Carol are the only two people we see that have been told what to be by Cree who have empathy for the Skrulls. Everybody else is shown to not, you know, I forget the exact line, but yeah, near the end of the movie, Jan Rog and the other Cree are going to murder the Skrulls, including children, as they have done before. The reason that Carol is a hero is not just the fact that she punches really hard and can fly through space, that just means she's powerful, and the wrong use of power makes you a supervillain, not a superhero. She's a hero because she sees Talos' family and realizes that the Skrulls have empathy just like humans. You know, she finally allows herself to trust the Skrulls and yeah, you know, the, the, if she had been, you know, if, if she had really been exactly what the, what, what Yon Rog would have wanted her to be, she wouldn't have given in to, I mean, yeah, I guess, honestly, she probably would have said, if, if Yon Rog had been in Carol's position, the, the, it wouldn't have been, okay, we'll, we'll listen to what you have to say, just don't hurt the kid. It would probably have been, well, sometimes, you know, you know, it's it's a war. Innocent people die. You know, the, the yeah, Yon Rog would probably have tortured Talos to find the. I'm afraid I forget what it's called, but yeah, the the where the where the scroll families are hiding and yeah you know so i believe yeah that's that's everything i had to say everything else i've already said so